Beethoven is very difficult, of course. It's nothing to nothing to sneeze. Yeah. We have a huge problem of doing without playing this without portamento, especially at the beginning of the cello. To play it. That's the most difficult because we have uh, we have to change, we have to this, then we have to yeah. It's very difficult. Yeah. To play before I forget, I'm just scared that I will forget. So, um, you have the bar numbers. Yes. Yes. Uh, Three sixty nine. Just at the end. Three sixty nine. Three sixty eight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, you, you play in tempo, perfectly in tempo, yeah? but the sound comes one here later, so you're too late. Yeah, we have to anticipate. You have to step on your own shoes. If you don't do it, the sound comes one hundredth of a second later, and it's really too late. Just like an orchestra, the horn player, yeah? Plays, huh? The sound comes, you know, 50 minutes, it's, it's too late. The same, the, yeah, okay. Then, uh, <coughs> for example, uh, it's the most difficult to control, the boat to make this, uh, in, you know, there's a fantastic, uh, there's a fantastic expression about pieces like Beethoven or Mozart or, yeah, you say, even if we play really horribly, it will be phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, because because it's such a chef-d'oeuvre, as I say in French, it's, it's such an incredible work that uh, that we can get away with murder. Yeah, something that's a work or something that uh, it's still just absolutely incredible. Can we do it? Um, for example, the sforzando and forte piano are two different things. Yes. Yeah. At the end, you play da ram pam pam. No, at the end is forte and then it's fortissimo. It has to be twice louder. Ta -da, bam, bam. Yeah, yeah it, it, so you have to exaggerate two times more for the for it come out. You know, if we exaggerate, it becomes less, 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 less. You know what I mean? If you play for the last person in the hall of two thousand seats, you know. So, can we do it just the beginning? Yeah. Before you start. Yeah. Think, think inside. Tempo, he took another tempo. So, what do we do about this? <laughs> they do it, you come sure up with fight. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost. Our, our reaction has to be like a fighter pilot. You know, the reaction has to be one hundredth of a second because he should take the tempo or be a second note. Can you imagine how fast he has to be? Do you know what, I'm, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. Yeah. We have to be so, like, I mean, just like you're touching something hot. You don't, you don't hold your hand there, <laughs> you know, on the stove. You go, you go like this immediately. So, ba -ba -ba -ba. your second note depends on their second note. Yes. Yeah, I mean, and millions of different things that you can uh, invent yourselves. How to, how to, uh, you know, you can do a pop, 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 and <laughs> then start. <laughs> yeah. And you cannot do it. <coughs> it's also yeah. not very, very aesthetic. Uh, okay. yeah. but it's okay, I'm not your mother. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five bars, we have no crescendo, no diminuendo. Yeah. yeah? So, yeah, and this is, uh, this F is always too high. Da -ra -pa -pa. A little bit lower. Yeah. yeah. Be careful. Yeah, can we do it just piano on one, on one breath, five bars?
know it's a tradition, you probably heard 500 recordings. The crescendo is not to two forte. Does it say two forte? No. So the the maybe a little bit up. Don't give it all here, here I am. <laughs> and then what do you listen to? I mean yeah, it's the end. In five bars it's the end of the work. That's it. Yeah. So then you go <clears throat> it was really really fantastic, wonderful. You go the your your octave has to be like you are hanging on the cliff to die in one finger. Okay. You know, like you play the Brahms violin concerto. You know, you the Bam, like you nailed it right, right, yeah. It has to be really, really very, okay. very intense, yeah. Let's do it last time, yeah, and, and, and we go, yeah. And also, begin. also, yeah, before we start. Tita, yam, pam, 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 pim, pam, pam, pim, pam, pam, pam. Don't, don't, don't do these kind of crescendos, uh, uh, diminuendo. It doesn't say, it doesn't say, yeah. Okay, last time, yeah, can we do the beginning? Yeah, come Then we have 15, also crescendo, yeah? Yes. So maybe, of course, the octave, I don't know how you do it, but it has to be vibrate. You have to vibrate it. Okay. If you don't vibrate, it's a little, it's a little bit... Uh, do something on one finger. I don't know what you do. Or go, go like this with your head. <laughs> but something has to be done. Uh, when you do a little bit crescendo, the notes have to be a little bit longer. Pa, 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 pa. Not pa, pa, pa. How do you make crescendo if the all notes are short? Yeah. Impossible. Physically impossible, yeah? Mm -hmm. pa, pa, I mean, you can put it, but it's not, it will not have the same effect. Pa, 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 Yeah, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Then, um, I don't know how you do it, but di, da, 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 da. be careful not to go like this. Da, 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 di, da, da. Because the strings are, I mean, it, it's a little bit, it's more nicer to do a little bit like this than da, 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 just even physically, yeah? Mm -hmm. Can we do it? We don't have to go back. Can we do... Um, Sforza, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty-eight. Sforzando. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the most difficult not to make any crescendo. We want to make a crescendo. We want, otherwise, you think it's boring. It's not boring, believe me. You know, you know who Henrik Schering was? Schering, violinist. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah of course. Schering. Uh, when I was studying, uh, all these people used to. I used to hear them live. Schering, Milstein. Uh, I'm old, so I, you know, I have heard them. <laughs> so once Schering came and he played uh, Bach. You know, he the, he played the whole whole recital of Bach, and he stayed like this. You know. He didn't move the whole the whole evening. After the concert, I thought, you know, it's the most most boring thing I've ever heard in my life. You know, really boring. You see, hands like this, it's very familiar. Till this day, I don't I don't forget this concert as though it was one hour ago. Yeah, it was 45 years ago. You know, he played. Uh, the only reason that I'm telling you this is that he kept the entire line of the whole piece. You know, the whole, the whole, uh, 
uh, the whole uh, the whole pizza, not not little not little not little pieces. Yeah, the la rodi, you rodi, 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 rodi. You forget it as soon as you stop playing it. Yeah, think of the big line. Big line is a banal word. Big line. Everybody says big line, big line. You know, uh, it, if you think of the whole movement. You know, there is a. There shouldn't be too many fake explosions in music. You know, sometimes it's uh, uh, pizzicato, sometimes that's the rest. Sometimes, if you do this, there are a lot of, especially when it's not written. Of course, there are many mistakes in additions, you know, Baron Reiter, you know, Beethoven, I'm sure, forgot to put all the accents and all the, I'm sure he did. But uh, in general, I try to keep the whole, uh, um, a larger picture, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. So uh, anyway. Can we do it once more, 28? <coughs> some old lady to wake up because she's sleeping. Mm, okay. Yeah? Uh, you know, yeah, okay. Can we do maybe from piano before? 44? 44, yeah. 44. solo? Yeah, the fortissimo or better? Huh? Fortissimo. It's better? better or? Well, you know, uh, you should know better than me. <laughs> you should know better. It should be together. It should be a shock. It should be, uh, you know, don't be shy in Beethoven. I mean, there's nothing to be shy okay. about. Within the, you know, I'm a little bit old-fashioned old um, person in terms of that we have these boundaries. You know, there's a painting. For example, you, uh, you like paintings? I was a little kid going with my parents to see uh, many exhibitions, blah, blah, blah. Who, ca who cares? You know, when you're a little kid yes. looking at Rembrandt or Van Gogh, who cares? When you're 30, 40 years old, it comes back to you. This basic that, you're, that you went, believe me, nothing goes without uh, being noticed. It comes back to you and it's the basic of your being, yeah, as a human being. For example, there's a famous painting by Rembrandt called The Return of the Prodigal Son. You know, yes. the son of the, he comes and the father is hugging the son. Okay. He is coming. Uh, Red Brunt, very, very famous painting. It's physically in St. Petersburg. Okay, you see, it's very emotional, especially when you become either you're a son <laughs> or you become a father. And it's very emotional to be as a father that the son, either you have the fight with the son he left, he comes back and you're hugging him. So, okay, so are you interested in details of these paintings? Maybe not. No, I saw it. It's very touching. Incredible painter. Wow. The father is hugging the son. There are two different hands. But you should know about it. If you're curious, there is a woman's hand hugging him, and there is a man's hand hugging him. So it means that the mother and the father is hugging him. If you don't know it, it goes through. No big deal, right? I mean, if you're still the same person, you still brush your teeth, you take a sh no problem. 
But I think sometimes it helps uh, uh, to know these um, small details of uh, it. it you, you, you understand maybe things more, more, more deeper. Okay. More deeper in, uh, you're asking about the fortissimo. Yeah. What fortissimo? Well, bam, bam, you, you know, um, short, long, blah, blah. It has to work for you, not for me. But the difference is, uh, my job was to tell you there's forti and there's fortissimo, and I, I act like very smart. I mean, I'm not smart, I just see it. Yeah. Uh, can we do it once more? Yeah? Okay, from here. 48? Yeah? From your soul. It's never the same. Yeah, two bars before, it was five seconds before, right? So it's already a different experience. The only reason that I'm saying is you play dum, the second time has to be different. How you do it, it's up to you. I don't know how you do it. And then at the end, yeah, like three different episodes. Also, don't rush. <coughs> You're not Russian, I am, so don't rush, yeah? <laughs> beam, yeah, we're getting nervous, okay? Let's do the piano, 53, 53. <laughs> I'll kill you all. I'm the jealous. <laughs> he's the jealous. So he's, he's my brother. He's my son. He's everything. So, uh, when he plays the la la ram, don't rush. Oh, okay. And you, because you can hear it. He's the only one who is doing this. The ba yeah the la la ram. Have the time to speak. Yeah. La la ram. Yeah. At the end of fifty nine. You know what I mean? Yes. Can we do it? Maybe just fifty seven or something. something in between but the music does it by itself just okay. relax <laughs> yeah don't rush also this da la da da yeah once more 57 is it <coughs> Yeah? Okay. Maybe you can come a little bit earlier also, because he's already gone. Yeah? Can you do it once more? We can do it for 60 directly, yeah? 60. Uh, no problem. No problem. It's my job. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 
the only correct bar you played in 70. Why? Does it say, is there an accent? Yeah, you, and si bar 70, you did it correctly, but before, no. Okay. Yeah. So let's start from there, 67. We're taking everything apart. The bars uh, before was not together, 65. But that's still, be careful, you can, you can practice it later, but without together. Okay. Listen to each other and know each other's rhythm. Of course, it, it will help to, to look at the score like this. Yes. Um, it's, it's, uh, it helps a lot, it helps a lot if all of you have the score, because you start to realize uh, it's boring, I know. <laughs> it's it's much better to sit with a cafe, it's more busy. But, uh, but it will help you much faster. Instead okay. of you practicing, uh, re rehearsing 10 hours a day, you can do it in two uh, if, you, if, you, if you have this. Anyway, let's do 67. Yeah? Sometimes also you can think about uh, making things the opposite way, like because if you do abbo, there will be an accent for sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's very difficult. Okay, so so the accent can be abbo. Anyway, you just have to think, not to change now. Then uh, 71, 72. You can do two bars on one bow. If you do two bows, you destroy the entire musical pattern on one bow. 100, 200%, yeah? Then, yam, lagada, lagada, wa, lagada, has to be different, and of course, tenuto at the, lagada, bagada, bi, lagada, bagada, bi, do something, do something different, yeah? Uh, each one. Huh? Each one has to be different. Okay. Within, within reason, of course, yeah? Uh, then, uh, of course, it's very difficult, all this, lagada, bagada, 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 okay. Uh, let's, let's go on, because, um, three, four, five. 85. Just out of curiosity, try to do all up bows. Let's see how it sounds. That's Can you do 83? 85, all up bows. Team, bam, bam. What's the movement of the bow? How do we move the bow? Tell me. Well, all of you, tell me. How do you move the bow? Straight? It should be. It should be. It's a provocation. Straight? <laughs> <laughs> it should be. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Maestro. Please. Straight? <laughs> Why is Straight? <laughs> Well, show us how you move the bow up, up. Can you, can you play up? So, yeah, and you? You're both wrong. Okay. <laughs> we make the movement like this. Bam. Not bam. 
Yeah, there is no square movements in string playing, none. If we do this, we will try to make, oh, how do you do it without an accent? It will be impossible if you do it straight. Okay. You go like this. I'm exaggerating this. You will never see it how I do it, never. Because it's one <coughs> millimeter or two, like this. Pam. Not pam. 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 There's always, there's always, but of course, very uh, physically, you cannot see it, especially if you're sitting in the audience. You cannot see it. You think I'm doing it straight or something, or people are doing it straight. But it's always the uh, like egg um, shape movement. Okay. Or like, you know, the, the mathematics, you know, forever, uh, what do you call it? Yeah. Infinite. Yeah, yeah. So, beam, if you do this, if you do, eh, eh, it will sound like, like you have a problem to go to the bathroom. You know? yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, <coughs> can we do, let's see, okay. then another suggestion, when we play, it doesn't matter what fingers we do, let's say one, one, two, two, yeah. we have to give expression as we do one, two, three, four, so how do we do it? Technically, it's very easy to explain, but basically you have to, you should be able to, you should have to, want to, hear that you don't make any pa wa 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 wa. Oh. Yeah? You can release the bow, you can uh, go like this, it's up to you what you do, yeah? So you, you pa 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 pa, so it sounds like pa ra ra ra. Yeah? Okay. Because sometimes, so it, you, just to clean, uh, just to, you know, to go to the washing machine and, and clean clothes. Right? Because, because sometimes it sounds, ba wa 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 extra oh. noise that we don't need. Okay. Yeah. Some people say, release the bow tension when you, when you make shifts. Yeah? Yes. For example, if you drive the car manually, no, now there's only automatic, but manually, yeah? You put in the first gear, you start. When you switch first gear to the second, the car doesn't stop, right? Yes. It's moving still. The same thing here, ba, ba, there's still sound going, but you release the bow to, uh, to, uh, to clean this extra noise, this extra kitchen sink thing, they say. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's very important in, in, all, our, in all our playing. Uh, let's see, can we do, can we do the beginning, uh, um, like 102, 102? You can do two before. Let's do, let's do uh, ninety-seven. Okay, ninety-seven. Okay. So people don't tell us, uh, we, we make repeating these bad habits, yeah? For example, 124, when you play da da di pam pam pa pa pam da da di pam pa 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 You know, small things like this, yeah? Then, uh, if I can uh, ask you, you have the 109, you go to heaven. Take your time. If they're ahead of you, get up and hit them, you know. Okay. You go, and you are, you know, you're in, in absolute heaven. Uh, can we do... Yeah, also remember that it's mezzo forte. Yeah? It's not really forte. Uh, I know you're nervous because it's very difficult. It's very, very, very uh, not, um, not comfortable place for us. 
Yeah, I mean, it, it looks easy, but it's not. It's not very easy. So we, we want to compensate by doing faster or louder. Yeah, just uh, try to sit back and <laughs> relax. <laughs> let it go, let it go. <laughs> Can we, uh, let's do it directly. Can we do it directly from there? One or two? Yeah. Da, da, dee, just directly, yeah? Nowadays, we watch internet, we watch YouTube, we watch so much stuff, so much fantastic stuff, so much junk, so everything. So sometimes I'm curious, <coughs> um, in my life I was actually mostly conducting, not playing the cello, the past 30, 40 years. Now I'm getting back, I, 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 the more I conduct, the more I like the cello kind of thing. But the balance is fantastic because if you only play the cello, or only play the violin, only the viola, you might have problems in 10, 15 years. You have to do, you have to have different interests, I think. I think you have to have different, uh, sometimes professions, different interests, different, uh, because only uh, this will, will make you crazy, I think. Yes. Uh, and no one has, can sustain uh, good quality playing all their life. No one. It's impossible. So if you do some kind of compensation with different things, it, you, you, you might survive. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you might survive. Um, what did I want to say? Uh, when we do, for example, um, this very simple thing, yeah. or you uh, watched YouTube, I started saying, people talk about vibrato. I don't know what they're saying. I cannot understand. You know, to, so, you know, to, in order to make vibrato, you take the note, you play like this, then you play it like this. And to me, if somebody speaking Chinese, you know, somebody <laughs> Japanese, I don't, I don't understand what, what a, a person famous people, you know, very, very famous people are trying to, uh, I don't think they think this way, yeah? The only reason that I'm, that I'm saying this, the whole, the whole <laughs> story, is when you play ba -ra 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 sometimes there's a fantastic technique, by the way, to vibrate with the bow. It's half, por half portamento, half, you can actually vibrate with the bow, yeah? If, if it's difficult to do it here, you can do it here. But you have to listen, uh, that it's not too much, that it's not too much um, portamento or anything like this. Your last note has to be vibrated somehow. I don't care which, which hand you use, okay. which leg you use, uh, which nose you use, it's up to you. Okay. But, it, but it can be da 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 ah. Yeah, it sounds, it's beautiful, but it sounds a little bit dead. Yeah, so it's left hand, right hand, your knee, your ear, it's up to you. Okay. Yeah, this okay. is the whole story about, about these, uh, you know, because sometimes we're lazy also. You play da da ra fa, but it's actually more important da da ra fi. Yeah, okay. yeah, the other way around. Yeah. Okay. Can we do it once more for me? Yeah, one or two is it? One and two.
many. Papa, uh, Papa. Uh. So if you do it ten times, it's getting a little bit too much. So sometimes to avoid the break, what do you do? Because you're playing forte. Pa, 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 pa. If you play, uh, it will not be possible. I just suggest uh, something like this. Last note, shorter. Pa, 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 pa. Shorter. And then you can do it in tempo. Because if you do pa, 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 you need the break. Pa, pa, ta, ka, ta, ka, ta, pa. Beam. Almost in tempo. Okay. Almost in tempo. Then, um, then you have crescendo. For me, it would be physically impossible to do tara pa pa pa. So we go tara pa 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 tara pa pa pira pa 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 pira pa pa pa. It will be impossible to make the effect of crescendo with two ups. You can do it, but it would be ten times better if you do it tara pa pa pira pa 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 and longer and longer and longer and louder. One hundred forty. 140 when the start when the crescendo starts oh. already to do it separately can you try it for me i'm just curious let's do 130 uh, 134 134 and 140 let's just try yeah maybe maybe you won't like it 134 <laughs> you start to get, but it's two times more, more uh, life, more, more wow. Yeah. Okay. Then, um, if it's possible, remember when I talked about sharing. Yeah. Like you have no face. You can imagine when somebody talks to you and you say, "Get angry at me." You just, you just, you just <laughs> like this, you know. And it makes a, a person more angry, even. It makes a person more and more of it. You know, you have this this kind of uh, <laughs> indifferent, uh, yeah? yeah? The same thing. Tara, pa, pa, pa. Like you have uh, almost shivers, you know, like you have cold. Tara, uh, pa, 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 pa. Uh, Be a sadist. Okay. <laughs> I will yeah. try it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, because, uh, because, because it, it's a fantastic effect. I think you know, people say people are walking with no, with no face. You can imagine? Somebody with no, that comes to you, you know, can I have a cigarette, you know, with no face, you know, can I have a cigarette? It's Unbelievable, yeah, that, because when you do, it's already maybe more, I don't know, more, more Brahms, more, more Schumann, more, yeah? Okay. Can we do it just, just for once, for me? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one fifty, one five zero. Yeah? One five zero. Something so you can tell that no. Inside you want you're ready to explode. You know, like the oboe or the horn. Yeah, the oboe. I don't know how they play the oboe. They do this <laughs> and the sound. Yeah. So it's like in, inside a little bit more. It will explode. Yeah. You have. I mean, your arms will fall off, but you don't let it show. Okay. You know, it's like um, <coughs> a screwing a screw. You know, the with the with, yeah. And the screw is is all um, used, so it doesn't work. Okay. So what do you do? Yeah, you have to on, on one hand press too much, uh, uh, on the other hand to hold it back. Yeah, the same thing. You're intense inside, but but you don't show. It's it's. I mean, I just go like this to you, and you explode. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let's move on a little bit. Uh, yeah. 
This diminuendo, I didn't think it was effective. Uh, two seven, two. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Let's do two o oh, three, two zero three. Two zero three. Unfortunately, it's done. Not for me. Two zero three. to go to the diminuendo, I wouldn't say anything. Yeah, but you, you realize all this uh, 10, 15 bars, you have to go down. And if you go down earlier, you are, you, are, you know, you, you're killed. So start, uh, and when we see our <coughs> psychological thing, we see diminuendo, we start to play piano right away. Yes. <laughs> no, diminuendo, it's still forte, and little by little go down, because it's not, it's, uh, it won't be so effective. Okay, let's move a little bit. Uh, Okay, da da ba da ba da da dim da 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 dim ba da ba da bum 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 bum. Yeah, can we do it from here? Two ninety five. Two ninety five. Controlled by <laughs> uh, Maybe, maybe more. I would go on this string because it's too much. Eh, 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 uh -huh. string, yeah, maybe. And then uh, I know we all hate violas. I mean, that's natural. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> but let him, let him. Da, 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 di, da, 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 da. Yeah, give him at least two bars. I mean, once at least. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can we do it? Maybe just. Uh, um, don't have to play the whole thing. Let's do the whole thing once more. Yeah, two ninety five, two ninety five.
It's really difficult. You have to be so flexible to do it. Taka the pak the pak the pak the pak. Yeah, it would be a shame to do it. Uh, you know exactly in tempo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes we come to play a cello concerto, violin concerto with orchestra. Yeah. Stupid conductor like me, you know, want to want to have it in his own tempo. For example, if some cellist plays Schumann concerto that I've played many times, I want to do it my way. Yeah. So I'm just kidding. Of course, you know, there's a possibility. So the, the soloist has to be very flexible. Because if he wants to or she wants to play not together with orchestra, that's fine. But it will be the last time the soloist will come. Yeah. Well, the, because nobody takes that. Yeah, no, I mean, you have to have a little bit of respect for the orchestra. The conductors are all terrible, but the orchestra, at least, uh, you know. So, so be careful. That it's a very important thing. <coughs> then we do, let's just do the end. Can we do, let's do, uh, let's do a three, pa -pa 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 -pa. A 368, is it? No, a tempo, uh, 360. 360 after the retardando. 360. Three six zero. Yeah, I don't know. One, two, three. Yeah. 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 Start a little bit earlier. Yeah. Okay, one score. starts too late. Okay. Yeah. The, uh, I mean, think of the rest as the 16th note, not the 8th. You understand me? Yes. yes. Yeah, because you start... Yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit chapter. Yeah. Can we do just um, two bars before 67 or something? Okay. 367. Sometimes we tune our bows too much, and it doesn't let let the bow do the work for you, not not the other way around. Okay. Yeah. Even the bow is fifty dollars; it can work for you. You don't have to have a tort for half a million. <laughs> if it's too tight, it will be too fast. The bow will be too fast if it's too tight. So it will, yeah. Then to practice it slowly on the string, fantastic. Practice the opposite bowings. You understand? Yeah, Not pa pa pi pa pa. Do do something uh, opposite, like really uncomfortable. For example, we have uh, Tchaikovsky Rococo variation. Yeah, last movement. Now ta da da ta da pa 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 pi pa 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 pi. The opposite, so it's so it's like this. And then when you play like this, it will be much more easier. Oh. Yeah, because it's so it's the most difficult part of the whole movement. Yes. Yeah. But anyway, bravo! Thank you very much. Oh, it was a really pleasure. Thank you. Bravo. Thank you.